happening. That entire mission couldn't happen without all the scientists behind the scenes who made it happen. And it's really been huge here at Goddard this morning to get a sense of what they do. Absolutely. But now we're bringing it a little bit back closer to Earth. Uh, the ways that we uh, have NASA exploring what goes on here on Earth to understand the changes that are happening. I'm here with research scientist Lola Fato Yimbo. And uh, you do some incredible work uh, tracking the changes in vegetation and many other things here on Earth. I want you to summarize it, though, because you did it very eloquently. <laughs> so, really, what we work on is we use satellite imagery and we use the field of remote sensing to look at the entire planet as a system. So, we can tie in different um, cycles and look at changes not only right now happening, but we can also look over time. So if you're, for example, looking at deforestation, we don't have just a snapshot of what's happening right now in a forest somewhere on our planet. We can actually go back into time. So look at imagery dating back to 1985 and come all the way back to the, to the present state. And then we can also build models and try to predict what's going to happen in the future. And that's really important for us, understanding not only uh, how the Earth changes naturally, but maybe the role humans are playing as well, including things like deforestation. Now, you're working on some really cool new technology involving a laser. This is brand new types of stuff to study the Earth. Yeah, so um, the mission that we're working on uh, is a joint mission between the University of Maryland and NASA Goddard, and it's called the Global Ecosystem Dynamics Initiative. So essentially, it's going to be a LIDAR or a laser that's going to be on the International Space Station. And what it will do is that it will allow us to measure ecosystem structure or vegetation height at meter accuracy from space on a global scale. What's it like for an employee to come through those gates and see NASA and know that this is where I work, this is my office? Is that it's gotta be cool? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, um, I actually have a background in biology and environmental sciences, so I never really thought that I would be working here at NASA. But you know, I've I've fit in so well here, and the work that we do here is really applicable to so many fields in STEM, so it's a really great place to work. Watch out. You may have a stowaway here. <laughs> she may just I'm leave, not leaving. put on the space suit, and we'll never see her Well, again. I'm intrigued by this laser technology. I, I mean, can tell. She's talking about how they're exploring just other things on Earth, but I can imagine all the implications for weather forecasting as well. See that? <laughs> she's right in her element, loving it. More from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center when we come back. Back to you guys.